Today's video, I'll be showing you how to get official firmware, no jailbreak mods on Modern Warfare 2. This video, I uploaded a video yesterday showing this menu, and yeah, as you can see, this is like not a pre recorded video. I'm doing all of this. Uh, it's a really, really great menu. I freaking love it. I love playing with it too. It's a lot of fun. Especially the, um, they have an unfair aimbot on here. I think it's under host. Yeah. So I spawned in a few bots, and if you turn the unfair aimbot on, you can just. I think I did a lot of that in the video the other day. It was, I don't know, it's a lot of fun. I don't know why it looks in the sky, but it's really cool. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to get this menu for official firmware. No jailbreak needed, no infection needed, nothing at all. It's, just called, a, it's called a backup menu, and um, yeah. So I'll go ahead and show you guys the tutorial. So let's come over here. Alright, so in the link of this video, there will be a download. And that download will take you to... Uh, uh, um, it'll take you <laughs> to, <laughs> my bad, I didn't have an open. I downloaded this, uh, well. yesterday. Here we go. <clears throat> oh. I laughed. My bad, my bad. It's fine. So yeah, this download will take you to this page right here. And once you're at this page, it won't say this, it'll actually <laughs> load. This one is just because I'm redoing it. Once you're at this page, you'll go ahead and click download. It's from Mediafire. Uh, you can do a virus scan on it, you'll be fine. If you get this, just type in whatever capture comes up and do it. So yeah, whenever you download that, you will have... Uh, I have a lot of these open. You'll have this PS3 file, and you also need WinRAR for it. What you want to do is you want to drag this file out of WinRAR and put it onto your desktop, like this file I have right here. Once you have this file on your desktop, you want to go ahead and plug in your USB. It doesn't matter what size it is or anything. I just want to go ahead and plug in your USB, and then your USB should be completely clean, and you're going to want to format your USB. If you don't know how to do that, you just right-click over your USB and click on Format. It should be automatically selected to FAT32. Are you okay? Are you okay? I just tripped up oh. myself. Oh, he's fine. Okay. Anyways, it should be selected to FAT32, so you want to go ahead and click Format. Um, after that, you basically just drag the PS3 file onto this, and it will take a minute to... To get on here, but if you open up the PS3 file and then go into, you guys shouldn't have either of these things. You should only have export. You should only have backup, and then you'll only have one thing called MW2 modded backup. This is the menu. This is uh, Black Diamond V3. So once it's like that, you go ahead and right-click your USB stick again and click eject. Now it's safe to remove hardware. Now you want to plug the USB into your PS3. It does not matter what side you plug it into, just as long. As you plug it into your USB, or your PS3. So I'm going to go ahead and quit the game, and I'll show you guys what to do after this. Now, keep in mind that whenever you do this, your screen may flash a few times, and um, you will have to go through a, like small installations and stuff, and this will also delete all of your save daddy like, utility and stuff. So all of your game saves. But, and yes, you will have a corrupted data thing down here, but don't worry about it, it's all fine. You'll have to reinstall things like Netflix and stuff, but still no big deal. Really, really worth it for mods. So you want to go to System Settings, or you want to go over to Settings and go to System Settings. And then go ahead and, once you have your USB plugged in, go to Backup Utility. Then you want to go to Restore, and then click Yes. Here you should be able to select your USB device. You select it, and then it will load any readable backup that it has. The, um... Obviously, the only one you guys will have, unless you've done modding before like this, you'll have MW2 modded backup. You want to click yes, or OK, and then yes. Now it'll format your system, and then it'll, um, it will, I think it'll shut off and come back on. The screen will. And also, you want to make sure that you read the text that comes up at the bottom, because it does give you some information, like pushing the PSN button and pushing X and stuff, because sometimes it'll shut your controller off that you're, like, kind of knowing. So anyways, after you do the format, it should load into this where it will re... No, it won't rebuild it, I don't know. It'll do something. Right like there, as you see, it says push PS button. You push it, and it'll start restoring. It should take only about two minutes. Actually, approximately two minutes, apparently. So, um, yeah, we'll be back with you guys whenever this is at, like, 90%. 
All right. So now we're at 50%. It's taking, it's going a lot quicker than I thought it would. And I know that it's going to, like, zoom through most of it, so I don't want to miss any of it. So, yes, once this is done, you'll have to rebuild your data, or, yes, you'll have to rebuild your PS3 database, which is, doesn't take long either. It takes about a minute. So, this process does have a, like, really time-consuming thing, like moving the PS3 file onto your USB stick. That takes about a minute or two. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of... <laughs> really tedious and you just gotta be patient and everything and there are some tells to see whether or not the menu worked if you did it right and if you haven't done it right let me know in the comments what your problem was or whatever it was that you got also if the link for some reason goes out of um like it gets taken down or something let me know and I'll find the latest updated link and I'll put it back out for you guys um another thing if you add me on PSN eventually I will start doing live streams and you guys can join me or you can just join me randomly and we'll play now you have to click, um, make sure you push your PSN button again. Wait for the controller to turn on, and then you push X. But yeah, if you join me, I can give you, I'll, I'll, heck, if you guys want to, you guys can join me, and I'll give you co host to this menu, and we can all play around and stuff and have some fun. But, one thing I wanted to mention was I will be getting Elgato soon, so I'll be able to do live streaming and uh, live commentaries and stuff, and they'll be a lot better than the ones I've produced before. Um, that'll be a completely separate video. By the way, this is our 100th video. So, <laughs> we wanted to thank you guys very, very much for sticking with us through 100 videos. This is crazy. We have like 70 freaking 6 subscribers right now. This is for 50 subscribers, but oh well. Okay, so you guys shouldn't have this thing. Um, you do make sure you want to turn your controller back on. But, yeah. So, once this loads again... The, you should be through the whole installation process. All you have to do is launch Modern Warfare 2. And like I said, you'll have that little corrupted data thing below it. And that should mean you're doing it right. So if you have this, you're good. Now, I usually just skip through most of the setting up stuff. Like setting like the horizontal view and all that. I just kind of push it one time and keep going. Because it's really quick and a lot easier. So I'm just going to zoom through all of it. Uh, and yeah. I'll see you guys whenever the game loads, finally. So yeah, I'll be back with you guys whenever we get um, onto the multiplayer setting. Alright, so once you guys finally skip through all of the uh, settings, don't click on campaign or special ops, go straight to multiplayer, and then click continue to multiplayer. And, obviously the reason, well, I'm going to tell you guys the reason I'm showing you um, how to do this. One is because a lot of you requested it, and once this loads, go and click play online, and then click private match. You, you'll you want to start off in private match so you can at least get used to it. And if you click um, game setup and click on change map, um, you, won't, you, like, you won't really notice anything different, but I like Rust, so. Um, watch the text at the bottom. It should change. If it doesn't, then that's fine, but sometimes, yeah, right there, it changes. That means that you're also doing it right. And then, obviously, whenever you load in, you'll see Black Diamond V3, Haptic Online, and just click Auto Assign. This is from a different menu, so don't worry about any of that. And here you go. You now have Black Diamond V3. If you guys want to go ahead and add me, if you, for some reason, can't get this working, go ahead and add me. My name is Brownhammer1435. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys having a little bit of fun with this menu. We're going to stay recording on the phone just because it's kind of easier. So, some cool things you can do with this menu I like are you can give yourself times 1,000 accolades. I don't even know... I forgot what that did. Um, I'd like to set infinite ammo. Um, I like to also set legit stats so it doesn't look fake or anything if I join anyone. I do um, I do multi jump a lot. But my favorite thing is the recognition menu. And I add, I spawn in a ton of bots. Fifteen, and then I go to host and I set unfair aimbot. Now the aimbot on this thing is, like, seriously, it's amazing. So, first off, what multi-jumps is, you can just keep jumping. Of course, I forgot to set god mode, but that usually doesn't work anyways. If you're looking for a menu with god mode, I wouldn't recommend anything. Because none of them ever work. But, yeah, so, also your mods stay on through death. Like the aimbot. So I'm gonna go and show you this really... Boom. No one's ever gotten that before. Um, Gently, at least. Yeah, so you can do a lot of really cool things with this menu. It's really fun. 
I'd totally recommend this, especially if you're new to modding. <laughs> yeah, so you guys can just watch my video from yesterday on having fun with this menu, and yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and yes, comment down below because as you guys just saw, I just produced a video because you guys asked for it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for breaking 50 subscribers. Let's see if we can break 10 likes on this video. If so, I will host the lobby. So yeah, add me on PSN, and thanks for watching. Peace.